Plant closing, I think, will affect Hamtramck in a number of ways. And this is a substantial cut to our small city budget um, of probably around a million dollars a year. And that means, um, you know, that's a million dollars that goes toward firefighters, police, our sidewalks, repairing streets, repairing alleys, um, providing the city services that people expect and deserve. And you know, that five bucks that somebody spends in a, in a small um, corner grocery store um, can mean the difference between, um, you know, between solvency and, and, uh, and, and success as a business and, and uh, failure. A lot of these orders are here, as you can see, are from the GM people. Um, they uh, order frequently, they, they love our food. It's, I wish it would stay around and stick around with us. Julie Chekai and her husband Nick have run Royal Pizza and Barbecue for years right near the plant. GM Hamtramck has provided steady business. It's a blow to know that's about to change for the worst, says Nick. When the package is going to leave, they, the, this area is going to be that. Now when the GM is going to leave, I'm going to take a layup more employees and that's just going to be very bad. If we have no business from them, it's going to affect us dramatically. I mean, not just us, but all the businesses here. There's a lot of restaurants here, a lot of different businesses, from gas station to restaurant to anything, because all these people are looking for people to sell their things to. Well, I'm married with uh, three kids, and uh, I really care about them much, and this is what I do for a living, and I really don't want to be out on the streets because of this. Jamil Al-Jahib's gas station job supports his family. The station is a stone's throw from the plant, and most of their customers are plant workers. He counts on those customers keeping his doors open. If they close the plant, we will lose a lot of business. We might, we might be out of business too. I mean, seriously, it's really, really bad. When I heard the news, it, it, was, it was scary. You know, not just for me here, but everybody around here. Nick Nusulai was born and raised in Hamtramck in his own Motor City sports bar on Hamtramck's main drag for almost 20 years. The plant workers are like family to him. Plant workers call in orders for lunch. You know, there's times I deliver to them too. And then after work, they'll come in, grab something to eat, you know, unwind after work. I'll lose, I'd say maybe 20, 25% of my business, but you know, I was born and raised in Hamtramck. The GM Poltown plant is our last remaining auto manufacturer in the city. It would be the end of an era for us, um, an end of more than a hundred year history um, for our city um, as, as tied and deriving our identity um, in part from the auto industry. Back in the early 1980s, Hamtramck neighborhoods, churches, and businesses took a big hit from GM when they were bulldozed to build the Pole Town plant. Tina Wheeler manages Dan and Vi's Pizza and Deli right next to the plant, a place that has been serving hungry workers and area homeless since 1963. It's not easy, but they don't pick up and move when the going gets tough, she says. She says GM needs to show that same level of commitment. Why we have really focused on staying here and being part of this community and now for GM, just uh, disregard it, I guess. And, you know, just act like it's not a big deal and we're just gonna move on. I really feel that this is a mistake, that um, you made a commitment to the people of this city, of this area, and to just disregard that and walk away, I think is just wrong. This city saved you a few years ago when you went into bankruptcy and all of that. And we stood by you and we supported you. And, you know, why aren't you doing that for us? Why aren't you staying here and doing what this community needs you to do?